Life is like the fragrance of a jasmine on the spring breeze. And so what I realized is for me to become the man I wanted to become, I saw myself as the weakest person God ever created. But I never blamed God for anything he did to me. So I wanted to change that to be the hardest man ever created. Am I that? I don't know, but you had to have a goal. And my goal when I was sitting there, not going to school, being bullied, being having no self-esteem, my goal was the only person that's going to turn this person around is me. The only way I can turn it around is put myself through the worst things possible a human being can ever endure. And that would be the only way that I can build this brain to handle anything that comes in front of it, callousing my mind. You and I are not very different from this flower. Just like this flower is unique, you are unique. All of us has something special that makes us as beautiful. Do you know what makes you special? Now the answer to that can be a little difficult to find. Because sometimes life has a cruel way of picking out your petals, breaking you in two and throwing you into the trash. And when you're broken, it's very difficult to feel special. How do you find and cultivate that drive? Like there is a kid right now watching this man and they feel like you felt, they feel lost, alone, broken, stupid, lazy, like they're never going to amount to anything. And what you're talking about is the closest thing to a fucking superpower that this kid has ever heard. And right now he is on the edge of his seat. How does he, how does he like force himself to take that first step? Biggest surprise of my life and at uh, 44, realizing that I've got a kid on the way. It was um, shocking, a bit scary. And um, I didn't think I was gonna have any kids. So to have this moment happen, I was like, uh, are you sure this is happening? She's like, yeah, we're, we're, this is happening. My fear, all of my fears are based, are based around my son and what this world will be when I'm no longer around for him. And I wanna be there to protect him in every move, in every turn, and I wanna catch him before he falls. I wanna um, protect him from his first love and first heartbreak and things that I know I can't that he'll have to endure because I want him to have just enough pain to make him be an amazing human being, but not so much that it destroys and breaks his spirit. And I'm scared every day because I want to do it right. You get one shot to do it really right. I didn't know what to expect, but I can assure you that I've never loved like this in my life. I have never known this kind of um, worry and, and concern for the world that he's in. I have never known this kind of um, compassion for other humans, and I'm a pretty compassionate person. But once I've had my own, my own child, my own, I mean, he looks, sounds, moves like me. He's my healer. He heals me, and the little boy that I was, every time I hug him, every time we laugh, dance and talk and play ball. I'm not only hugging my son, but I'm also hugging myself. And those moments are so precious, so incredible, and so powerful. If I don't give you all of me, why the hell am I here? Why, how will you learn from me? People take so much offense to me. You will never learn from people if we always tap dance around the truth. We tap dance around the truth by finding the right words so I don't hurt you because you have thin skin. No. Tighten up, people. It's okay. Trust me. It's okay. You might be called nigger one day. It's okay. You might be called some Jewish word or some faggot or gay word. It's okay. Let them call you that. What are you going to do now? They don't own your life. How are you going to control that now? How are you going to flip it upside down and say, Roger that? Now I'm gonna harness this shit and you'll read about me years from now. How? That's the question. How are you gonna do that? 
thicken your skin, become more of a human being. Don't be afraid of the reflection in the mirror because that's all you can be afraid of. Once you overcome the reflection in the mirror, you've done it. I'd like everybody to think of a statement by Terence. The statement is, I am a human being. Nothing human can be alien to me. If you can internalize the least portion of that, you will never be able to say of, a, of an act, a criminal act, or oh, I couldn't do that. No matter how heinous the crime, if a human being did it, you have to say, I have in me all the components that are in her or in him. I intend to use my energies constructively as opposed to destructively. If you can do that about the negative, just think what you can do about the positive. If a human being dreams a great dream, dares to love somebody, if a human being dares to be Martin King or Mahatma Gandhi or Mother Teresa or Malcolm X, if a human being dares to be bigger than the condition into which she or he was born, it means so can you. And so you can try to stretch, stretch, stretch yourself. Oh man, that's with life. If you choose to do, if you choose to do something, attack it. Because they're gonna remember you as not attacking it. So I want to be remembered. You can hate me, but there's one thing you can't say about me. I didn't attack it. So that's the mentality you have. If you're gonna do something, you might as well attack it. Because you can do it anyway. Educate yourself. So the things that we run from. We're running from the truth. We're running from the truth, man. So the only way I became successful was going towards the truth. As painful and as brutal as it is, it changed me. Mm. It, it allowed me to become, in my own right, who I am today. And this is why if you have great people in your life, no matter how broke, how lost, or how broken you become, they can piece you back together. Ladies and gentlemen, when I look at you, I see something in you. But I don't know what it is. Over you.